Tis the story of Peter Pan that captivates audiences, young and old. Because for a moment, you can suspend your disbelief and give in to that magic that all of us sometimes wish to make real. I love you, girl! And while this story takes us far off into the reaches of Never Never Land, you'd never imagine where it's taken a group of Louisville artists. Three, two, one, action! Fast-paced, high-action, adrenaline junkies. Well, we put a production of, of Wicked into the Philippines. Uh, that's getting ready to move back to Australia. Growing a business from small community theaters. We have flown Taylor Swift and Zach Brown. To the biggest stages around the world. I mean, Asia, Australia, New Zealand. Um, we go to South America, we go to Mexico, we go to Canada a lot. Making millions along the way. I believe I can fly. <laughs> we should have thought this through. Child. Believe it or not, this is where the magic happens. It's where science meets art. Welcome to the dojo, headquarters for ZFX Incorporated. Anything really that needs to be elevated or lifted, that needs to be done correctly and safely, that's what we do. The FIFA championships in Bogota, Colombia, we flew a globe uh, during their halftime show. Good, good, very nice. It's a much tighter spin. Like Brian Owens leads a team of 18 flying directors. I love my job. It's like being MacGyver all of the time. Good. He describes the dojo as the research and development playground where stunts come to life. We'll have a crazy idea about this, this effect that we want to try to achieve. And we'll build the gear to make it happen, bring it in, test it here. If it works good, then we'll send it out to the world. If it doesn't, uh, we'll play around with it. This is the largest green screen in North America. It's 168 feet long, 32 feet high. From here you can leap tall buildings, take on monsters, or whatever else your mind can imagine. <laughs> Biggest project to date, The Hangover 3. I can't remember actually how long that shoot was. I think it was three weeks, four weeks, maybe. So they brought in a bunch of cranes onto the, the strip uh, and we flew this guy from 200 feet in the air off of cranes to fly into the strip and land on top of this uh, moving limousine. Um, and it was pretty, pretty intense. Land and designed right here in Louisville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually saw a trailer for it on a plane going to another job one time. I was like, oh, that's our shot. We are going to have some fun. Rebecca Knipfer yeah. puts the magic in Peter Pan at Presentation Academy. Are you guys ready to fly? Yes. Teaching the okay. performers the ropes. Quite literally. Oh. <laughs> While the company stages concerts, corporate events, and big action stunts, much of its work still exists in the theater. No, no. Here's where the story becomes a real life fairy tale because Peter Pan launched this empire. My daughter was one of the last boy twins in the show, and we were volunteer parents helping out backstage. And I asked him, Well, who's your competition? And he said, well, we don't really have any. And I said, this is America. Everybody has competition. That 1994 conversation started a partnership that lasts today. When we first started, we did $50,000 our first year. We did over 500 shows uh, last year. And that's globally. 40 full-time workers in Louisville, another office in the Netherlands. Great. Just one show can bank $1 million. It is a conglomerate that grew out of a garage and hung its hopes on Never Never Land. Perhaps Pan really is magic. It's crazy. It's crazy to watch the look on people's face when they you know, get off of the ground for the first time, when they have the ability to fly for the first time. It's incredible, and it's absolutely magic.